You were on Fountain Square today. You might have noticed some unusual activity on the front side of the Westin Hotel. That's right. Dozens of people spent the day repelling from the 17 story building. It was all to raise money to fight addiction. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us live downtown where the event is just finishing up. Or should we say down? Brad. <laughs> You got it. Good evening, Curtis. Yeah, they wrapped up not too long ago. And, you know, this is a topic that we report on almost every week. Drug addiction, deaths, new treatments, prevention. The list really goes on and on. But a new organization called Shatterproof is traveling the country, spreading the word, hoping to make a change to protect children from addiction, but also end the stigma of those affected by the disease. From the top of the Weston Hotel, one step at a time, more than 60 people repel from the roof in memory of someone they've lost. I knew him for such a short period of time, yet he affected my life forever. He was, um, had this unbelievable spirit, and he was 13 months clean and fought it every day. Pamela Bitzenhofer is talking about Brian Mendel. Mendel was 23 years old when he died in 2011 after struggling with addiction for more than a decade. Shatterproof is the creation of his father, Gary Mendel. It's a promise Mendel made to his son to do something about kids who struggle with addiction. He woke up one morning and wrote a note to us about how ashamed he was to live with the label of an addict and told us how much he loved us to test his blood that he hadn't used in over a year, but he couldn't live with the shame and he took his life. Traveling the country, Mendel shares his story with people like Lori Keller. Keller is repelling for her daughter, Ashley. Keller says Ashley used heroin to cope with depression. She was clean for two years. One week night where she was having some problems, um, she ended up making the fatal decision to use. A choice Keller has to explain to people when they ask how her daughter died. And I tell them I can immediately see defenses go up and their, their total demeanor changes. And it's that stigma that Keller, Mendel, and every person repelling wants to change, but also gain more support and less judgment. Now, Shatterproof will celebrate its one-year anniversary in September. This year, they are repelling in 16 different cities. Next year, 30. Reporting live on Fountain Square, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Curtis. Interesting that uh, something that can have a stigma has people looking up for a change. Brad, thank you. Each person who repels pays a fee and also raises money through donations. All the money goes to help Shatterproof with research, education, and treatment for addiction.